Hey, it's James from Fin Electrical. In today's video, we're working on this new build. Let's get into this. Alright, so we're into this new build now then. So I don't know if you've seen some Instagram stories, but this is the house where we was. This is gonna be like a stone clad going up there. We're gonna use this. This stone, looks like someone's dropped it, broke it. Oh, that'll be all stone clad all the way up. And what we've done is put some ground lights in. So these are your ground lights since we've got some six inch tube in. We've fixed it down just on top of this membrane. Uh, so these are 200 mil off the wall all the way down. And what they're gonna do is just shine up. So there's some underfloor heating to go in. Um, so what they're gonna do is put this king span in, like you can see. And then gonna, they're gonna put the underfloor heat in there screed it and then what we're going to do is come up come along and then chop around the rim flush with the screed and they've got some i think it's some yorkshire stone flags going down so we'll have to mark out for that and then get the lights brought up and brought through the nice flush ground light shining up the stone clad wall so that's going to look pretty sick so yeah, you got one here shining up there then two three four so yeah there's loads to get on with today uh, so we're just getting the ground works done um and then we're going to be back a bit later to wire everything up so there's all the down lights and pendants it's like a big pendant drop hanging down some really cool light features and fixing the so yeah i'll uh, show you how we do it right then so what we've done then we get some power into this island then so there's going to be a big bank of uh appliances like two double ones like a little work top with a socket on and a few other appliances there's fridge freezer wine cooler loads of stuff going in we're gonna to have to hold this up out of the way because it's all gonna get um, insulated, screeded, well, underfly heat and then screeded. So this is the end of the island. So we want this to pop up just, just as it comes into the island then. So that'll sit there then, sticking out. So hopefully they'll bring it out in the right place. And then this side will obviously come to mid, mid cabinet, which is what we want. So then that way, if it's it 600 out for your units, that sticks out in the middle. We can actually re like root cables in afterwards, worst case, if they want some extra bits in or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, it just gives it opens up options, doesn't it? So then that's the island power in, so I've just strung it up temporarily until they can sort it and then we'll have to tie it in nicely afterwards. And obviously get it get it notched in and down that six inch zone and just lay loose across and then out. That way we can get to the cables afterwards if we need to. So that's what's going on in here then. So that's the kitchen then. So we haven't got a kitchen plan through yet. So, but apparently there's going to be a massive island in the middle here then. A uh, big island, big TV on here, a few uh, feature lighting that they haven't decided yet. So it's going to be like LED strip. It's going to be like a couple of wall lights. And then we've got these fancy switches going in. So it's the smart home switches by locks on. So it'd be like an engraved black switch. So it'll sit over here. So on that there'll be six switches. So one will do LED strip along here. The smart switch in them that's pretty cool. So it's a different type of wiring. So normally you kind of wire from fuse board into switch with a with the live and neutral 230 volts. And then you send the cable up to your lights, which will do your down lights or pendants or LED strip. But with this smart switch, it's uh, called a KNX cable. So it's like a, what do you call it? Like a data cable almost. And it's got two pairs or four pairs, depending on what you get. And what you do then, you send one cable all the way back, or in and out all your sensors and switches. And it just basically works like data. It sends a signal to then tell a panel to make a switch turn on, essentially, or tell a switch to dim on or dim off. So, yes, yeah, so it's a totally different wiring. That means every every lighting circuit then has to go back to the panel. So now I think there's like nine down lights going in here. So you'd wire in and out, and then all the way back to the panel. You'd wire LED strip back to the panel. So that'd be 12 volt. That's why we put it in a separate tube. So we'll get that separation. And then obviously more lights back to the panel. I think outside lights are gonna come on from this as well. So there's some outside lights which will go back to the panel. So therefore, uh, we should do it that way. We'll be able to automate them and make the outside lights turn on with different times a day or whatever. So it's like a, yeah, it's a good smart home system really. So this, this switch has got built-in sensors as well. So this is getting underfloor heating in. So we could make the switches, um, basically turn on little actuators, turn on the boiler, open up a, like a switch almost on a pipe, which then flows around, turns on a pump, and you've got heat in for that room. So yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So we've got that in there, and we've also got to get the last leg up, 
that wall and just coiled up ready to send back through. But yeah, it's an uh, interesting, interesting one trying to get the roots through. So obviously it's a timber framed house, so we don't want to start drilling through stuff, which is supportive. <laughs> so there's loads of like, well, if you look, it's almost timber built. So there's big trusses all over the place, which we can't drill through. And we need to get roots from one side of the house to the other side of the house. So it's a bit of a challenging one, really. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. There's loads of like wardrobes with like feature lighting going in and down lights going in and just tastefully though. So it's not just like six or two, eight, just equally spread. There might be four down lights along the wall with like a pendant in the middle and a couple of five amp sockets for like bedside lights. So we have to come in and switch on the different lighting and set up different scenes. Yeah, I'm racking now. <laughs> yeah, so like this room here, it's going to be it's a bit different then, so it's just, well, for this one it's just downlights to be fair. So angled downlights there, angled downlights there. So they didn't want any feature lighting in this one. Uh, and this is going to be like a little, little dressing room there, which will be cool. So wardrobes, and it's going to be like Narnia, so you come through the back of that. And then we've got like a big fuse bar to go in here then. So we're going to bring a big 16mm up here. So that'll do the solar, so solar going in. MVHR, so that's all that heat recovery stuff. So essentially, you heat your house and then that just circulates it all, so you get, and, and filters it as well, so you get like good quality air in your house, and it's not just stagnated air, so it's pretty cool stuff really, so it's a nice, nice size job, so yeah, we're just kind of finalising stuff now, um, getting cables in before the flooring guys uh, do their work, and then the floor heating, guys does their work um but yeah once they're all finished we can crack on with this job so it's gonna be pretty cool yeah so that's that pendant we're talking about so that's gonna be a flat ceiling across here so i'll wind like a pendant here which will which will come down really low like a cool funky funky light yeah we did one in like leeds where and it was like a big chandelier we had to put up and it were so i think i think it was about five grand this thing six grand and the same company who did the uh was it casino royale the uh james bond movie yeah they, they, they built all the chandeliers for them so they're a company down london but yeah they were nuts that project in leeds it took uh i think it took about two days to to get it up and a big winch that come down with a big 20 kilo weight on so it'd uh, think there was something there yeah really really cool stuff but now it's a nice little project Right, me and Herbie then, we're just going to nip out then, we're going to go to Wholesalers and get a drum of cable to do the ground light sense. It's going to be long enough to go all the way back to that panel, so it's going to be about 25 metres um, of flex. So we'll get a bit of 1.5 flex from Wholesalers and get that running. No wing Greggs, can't beat the Greggs can you? What are you getting Herbie? Steak bake. Steak bake, oh yes. Look at that, they've got some Mexican thing going on, spicy Mexican chicken pizza, might have a go at that, looks quite tasty doesn't it? Woohoo! Alright, the Nerby back to the job then. Let me hear you. Okay, this. What do you think of that job, the Nerby? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, yeah, it was interesting to see the different, you know, lights, uh, different types of lighting. Mm. Um, yeah. So we got ground lights going. That's an interesting one where you've got to make sure. When they um, put the insulation down, piping down, and they pull like a, it's got a screed. It's like a, it hardens, it's like a floor and then level. So that's gonna, the tube's gonna be higher than that. Otherwise it'll just fill the tube up. Mm. And you need access underneath for the wires to go down into. So that's the only way I could think of is to get a six inch tube, have the middle of the tube where the lights go in, and then we'll just, just, just flex it on. Or, contract whatever you call it contractor pack 25 mil into the sides and then run cables between and all the way back to the smart panel so i think it'll work quite well it'll look really nice once it's all done yeah they got like a stone clad um well like that full wall's gonna be also like stone it'll look, look really nice um so yeah that's what we that's what i'm with then so what have we got then we've got, we've got a little spicy mexican chicken pizza that's uh oh we'll give it um it's all right now. I'm gonna give it a seven. Two and a half, that one. What have we got on steak bake? Yeah, I've got a steak bake and a gingerbread man. Mmm, can't beat a gingerbread man. 
Get up onto your spiky mikey. Have they got them down here, spiky mikeys? Uh, I haven't heard of it before. I, mean, I think it's just Newcastle. It's, it's basically like a gingerbread man, I think. Oh. To call it a spiky mikey. So then, Irby, what, what, what have you enjoyed then? So far, what, what aspects of electrics then? Get a new light. So I've I've really enjoyed the kind of installation of of the cables. Um, so you know, stripping the cable, um, uh, watching you know how they're terminated. Um, yeah, cause um, we're, we're just stripping cable, didn't we? So we've had loads of different cable types this week, didn't we? Yeah. So you're practicing doing armoured after armoured after armoured after armoured, and then. Same again for what? For flex and then twin and earth. Data cable. Data cable. Yeah. So I'm just getting you quick at that. Mm. Um, what else? Then? Did a bit of fault finding, didn't we? How do you find the fault finding then? Yeah, fault finding. Um, it's it's quite it's hard work. Um, so so yeah, it's not uh, not my favourite, but it's still really really interesting. Yeah. And, um, and yeah. So yeah. we had a flat in the yard, didn't we? The cables were occasionally tripping. So a lot of electrician and just go, well, it's working, let's just leave it at that. But we've got a few tricks up the sleeve, haven't we? So we've got the, the tester out, we send a few voltages down the cables and it showed low readings. Mm. So anything under one meg. So we went round, didn't we? Uh, and yeah. whoever did the test before, I'd pulled it apart, put it back wrong. Okay. She had cables on protected by things where it set on fire. So that wasn't good, was it? Mm. So we put that back together and then we've uh, found out the issue cable disconnected that seeing what wasn't turned on then we looked into it, it was some dodgy sockets wasn't it that, that was on an outside wall where all the water all the damp had got to it and the uh, it all rusted and a bit gammy wasn't it yeah so but yeah you, you didn't enjoy that one did you a bit a bit, a bit dirty flat wasn't it yeah yeah it was a bit yeah. <laughs> it were, like yeah we won't say who it was with but yeah they weren't, they weren't very uh, clean people were they uh, but yeah the installation works not too bad so you like this kind of job then so Mm, running yeah. cables, so it comes in two two parts, which is where we got to. Um, so we've got first fix where you get the cables in, and then you got to um, really think of how we run the cable, how we get, how we get a cable from A to B. That's the hardest bit. So you need to get, get the right uh, length of cables and stuff like that. So like we've just bought a hundred meter drum because we know we're going to get we're going to be putting a lot of um, cables in. Um, and then you've got to think about cable zones. So like you can only run cables within 150 from the corners, uh, where there's a switch and socket, that's a zone, so you can run cables there. Um, yeah, and then obviously with the stuff you can't drill through. So here on this one, it's wall, wood and timber frame. So there's like two or three main trusses. If we, if we can't drill through that. So like in the kitchen, there's no route from one side of the kitchen to the other. because it's got a big RSJ and a big truss. So we can't just drill through that. So they're gonna have to lower the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, for us for our cables to go into so they'll kind of come along and then nip off the joist go underneath the beam and then back on and then carry on its merry way to the garage so yeah it's uh that, that's the biggest task really is knowing how to do that but you get that experience just from uh, doing job after job so you come to another job and you go oh this is familiar this is, we've done this similar kind of job and you'll you'll pull that out of your bank of memory of how to do that and you'll apply it to another job and you just kind of build on it and build on it, so that's that's kind of what's involved then. So then we, we, we're back in on this, so I just remembered after we go to Middlesbrough and do some office lights, so I said I'd go up, so we've got to set up in about 10 minutes, we'll get this cable in, we'll leave it coiled up, and then I've got to sort that out then. So it's up to you, you could come with me to Middlesbrough, or you could call it a day, it's up to you mate. So we'll get the cable reeler then, you walk back there a bit. I know, yeah, totally. Hey, sorry about that. We got got chatting with Builder, and uh, but yeah, we've got the cable in. That's all tacked up and just just strung up at the moment, just so they can get the flooring down. And then what we'll do is come back and get it all tied in properly. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a really neat job. So yeah, Herbie's on the road trip to Middlesbrough. Hey, so apparently it's not ten lights. We're shopping over. Uh, it's two lights. We've got a light in one of one office and a light in another office. So we're going to all sailors now. What my hope? Get a few bits and uh, we'll be done. But look at the beautiful weather. Be beautiful blue skies on this country country road all the way up to Middlesbrough. So it's uh, not bad at all. Really, we're enjoying the views. Having a good chat.
Oh, it's done a bit of a uh, bit of rain in Middlesbrough. It's got one light done in another office, and we are just doing this one. So we've disconnected it. I'm just wired it up into a little cable and cable out and got some form for the light. I'm just going to pass that up then. It can be a bit awkward. So keep doing this until it lands and we'll plug him in here so here it's just a little plug a little low voltage plug and if you've got turn on the lights on there a bit not watching come on look at that there's no twisty thing on this it's just plug in and that's it and we're that's a bright in here i'll do we've got a lovely and bright now in here and we're done that's not bad nice day's work See me a little sat nav holder if it can. Oh, it just fits. Oh, what do you think, the Nerby? Nice, steady yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Good jobs. Sure, we'll see a man about a dog. Yeah. Or a wife about a dog. Yeah. Where's Ebede? Seb! Where is he? Bye! Where is he? Have we got a doggy? Have <laughs> we got bye. a doggy? Thank you! We picked up Zebede. Hello! What are you doing? You want to chew? I think she's driving, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> it's gonna press it on you. No. <laughs> oh, it's comfy there. Look at that. That'll do you. Are you tired? You had a long day at work? No. Are you comfy, mate? <laughs> yeah, I told you I was seeing a wife about a dog. Right then, so that's all we've got time for today then. Oh, if you've enjoyed this kind of content, that's a bit random. So what do we do then? We've got the uh, the ground light, showed you that project and what's going on. You've seen a little bit of a light changeover, a bit of Greg's. We've got a dog who's just, just chilling now, he's, he's going to sleep. And yeah, we've got a little trip home now and we're done. So it's Friday, we're done for the week. I hope you all have a good weekend. We all get up to some fun stuff. I think the weather's going to be nice, so yeah, it should be cool. Right then, have a good one. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, I'm going from me and Herbie and Zebedee, the dog. I'll see you on the next one.